The international community was rocked by the recent development in Lesotho. Rocked to sleep, I tell you that much. By what has been billed as one of 2014's biggest non-events. What analysts call an attempted coup, but what seems to be more like an attempt of a coup, of an attempt of a coup that was a coup of an attempt. We can't have coup d'etats in 2014. <laughs> not to worry, Lesotho, you did not have a coup. When your coup spends less time on television than pumpkin patch, then you have nothing to worry about. The mountain kingdom of Lesotho, which for those of you who don't know, is a country next to Plumfontein, which remains strategically important to South Africa as a major supplier of our water. It's a constitutional monarchy, and if you are thinking, why does an elaborate water tank need a king? So am I, South Africa. I am also wondering the same thing. Basically, Lesotho is South Africa's own fire pool. Hmm? How nice, man. How nice. The Prime Minister Thomas Dabane fled to neighboring South Africa for help when the military came looking for him. I don't know about referring to Lesotho as neighbors. I mean, neighbors are next door, eh? next to each other, not inside each other. Hmm? Not inside. It's like saying, hey, meet my neighbor. He lives in my kitchen. No, you're not a neighbor. You are a hobo. You are a hobo rat. <laughs> but being good neighbors, we heeded the call. What did we send? The military? Never. F us. No. The Navy? For what? That's a landlocked country. Navy for who? No. We sent a bucky full of police. Full. That's like sending ADT. We sent the police, the same people who deal with noise complaints, shoplifters, to deal with Lesotho's military. And after all, look at the carnage they had to deal with. Just look, South Africa, these images, hey, I know they are damaging to the eye. These are very graphic images. Please turn away when this, uh, yeah, please. Despite the danger, Prime Minister Tabane has returned to Lesotho after his hefty stint in exile. Napoleon, six years in exile. Tabombeki, 28 years in exile. Eh? But Tabane, a staggering 96 hours in exile. Hey, you should write a book called The Long Nap to Freedom. News that moves. ENCA.com.